Hey guys, how's it going? It's Robert Sislow here, director of production for Grant Cardone TV. As always, we're bringing you another episode of Ask the Pro. We have a little bit of a different background today because we're featuring a new application that Rob Martin, also called Renegade Rob Martin, who's our guest today, has developed. It's called My Mo Pro App, and it's going to help insurance agents underwrite more deals, get more business, and become more efficient in the field. But before we get into that, as always, Grant and I bring an expert in their industry to help you understand the new tools, the new strategies that you can use in your field to do better, to get more sales, and grow your business. So Rob, Renegade Rob, thank you so much for being here, Thanks man. Thanks for I having appreciate me, man. It. Appreciate I'm excited it. to be in Florida. You're excited to be here. Where'd you come in from? Uh, Kentucky. Kentucky. Awesome. I yes, love sir. that. So why? I want to start off with two things. Number one, I want to know about the history of Rob. Mm -hmm. I want to know, we're going to lead into the app, but, but where did you begin? How did things start with you? Um, I, just like a lot of people do when I was younger, you know, I started out, you know, grew up on my own, grew up at a young age on my own and um, worked at McDonald's and all the restaurants, horse farms, you know, and tobacco, all the crap jobs. And I remember just like, there's got to be something better out here than this crap. There's got to be something way better, you know, and um, an easier way to make money because I was, the whole time I was standing there doing that, that job that flipping the burger, whatever it was, all I was doing was counting every, I knew how much I was making down to the penny per second because I had nothing else to do but flip that burger. So. Um, I realized that there had to be something better. So, uh, you know, as time went on, I ran into a guy named Brad Latham, and he uh, said, man, you'd be good at something. I said, what's that? He said, I'll pick you up. Didn't know what it was. Picks me up, takes me out, walks up to the door. We're selling vacuum cleaners, Kirby's is what he's doing. Mm. So he takes me out selling Kirby vacuum cleaners, and to me, that was kind of like boot camp for salespeople. I okay. mean, if you go out there and start knocking doors selling Kirby's. Dude, door-to-door -door is just, that's, you know, you want to get right into sales, start with door-to-door. -door. Absolutely. Get knocked around a little bit. Yeah, you get, yeah. Kicked, you get kicked. It's through. worse than the phone. It's a lot worse than the phone. It helps numb you to rejection. Oh, it totally does. Yeah, <laughs> it totally does. Not interested. Okay, great. Yeah, you can move on. Yeah. But the nice thing about knocking doors is a lot of times even in the car business and stuff like that, you stand on that lot and you're waiting. You're at the mercy of the dealer to do the right kind of advertising. Mm -hmm. And you just stand there all day waiting on somebody to talk to. The nice thing about knocking doors is you can talk to as many people as you want. I mean, as many doors you're willing to talk, that's how many contacts you can make. And sales is about contacts. The more contacts, the more times you have an opportunity to talk to somebody. Absolutely. And um, after I met my wife, um, her family was in the car business, big time dealers for all, all the major car lines. And um, I went up through the ranks, but once again, I was standing there at the mercy of, of the dealers. Or, or, and so forth. I wanted to make my fortune on my own. I didn't want to earn my money and, or, and ride somebody's coattails to, to be successful in life. So um, I made a move from there and went to be a satellite retailer which is kind of what started leading me to insurance in the end because and, and when I satellite what do you mean by satellite, satellite TV like your satellite TV, TV. dish network yeah got it yeah and um, so how many years did you do that uh, 18 18 years what yeah. made you just be like I'm done with this well kind of like you most people I'm sure you do too most people are going to Netflix and stuff like this yeah there's still satellite iTunes like I can get all my stuff easily really it's fast insane. and the baby boomer generation is the last ones that are still using that use it but I don't want to be 50 looking for a new job. Exactly. <laughs> you know? So you were in that industry. You uh -huh. said, okay, I'm out. It's changing. Mm -hmm. Now where are you? I visited my pastor one day because I didn't thought that started that thought process and he was getting his license. I was like, what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? He said, I'm getting my insurance license. I said, insurance? Because you got to think about it. Nobody ever dresses up like an insurance salesman for Halloween. You know, it's more of one of those things that you kind of fall into. And he told me about their lead programs and how he had leads. I, said, I never had a lead. I'm cold knocking doors. I said, this is going to be easy. And, um, Called my wife 10 minutes later. It took me 10 minutes to make the decision because I seen the opportunity that would be there when he explained to me how the life insurance industry was at that point. And things had changed and the industry was exploding and there was agents coming in left and right. And me, fortunate enough, I had enough sales training that when I walked in the door to sell insurance, I knew nothing about insurance. I had nobody to train me, but I knew I could get in a door. I wasn't scared to knock a door and I wasn't definitely scared of rejection. So. We um, ordered a bunch of leads. My wife got licensed. I got licensed, and we went out in our first four and a half months. We wrote one hundred eighty thousand in premium. Wow! Now the average agent might write fifty to seventy grand a year. We wrote. So a, you did. What is that? That's like double. Yeah, it was double we, we what a normal it. agent would do in four months. Reason was is I carried something from the industry I was in because these companies front load these bills and they cram all this crap in these people's bills, and I would go in and save these people money on their utility bills. Mm -hmm. our, our average client I was dealing with at the time, they're $1,000 a month income. Yeah. So, you know, we're saving them $1,500, $2,000 a year on those bills. Then they were patient enough to let me learn the insurance part. You know, they, they were very patient. And so we had a lot of success at that. And um, I started spreading that message around. And when the company I was with, how I was doing it, 
I got rookie of the year, you know, started building a team. And, but they kept rejecting this whole thing, me doing, changing things up. They didn't like that. What did you change? Well, they wanted you to knock on the door to apologize for bothering them. And they wanted you to, to go in and show pictures of your family and talk about the stuff yeah. that doesn't have any meat in it. There was no, was no meat in what they were doing. Look, I got a product I want to help you. You got five minutes today? Yeah. What's up? Yeah, so let's talk. No, they, I'm not. I totally understand. Let's have I want to save them money. I want to do. I want to yeah. give them some meat because Absolutely. simply people don't hear you when you're talking to them. No, we all tune out. Yeah, that's what we do is Nate. That's our human nature. So I was like, I'm gonna give them some meat. I get on the phone and save them some money on their bills. Then they're really hearing the words coming out of my mouth. And if what I had to say made sense, then they were they were gonna ask me if they could buy it for me, and it worked. So we help them. Then we we educate them, and then we start saving the money. They didn't like me doing it that way. They wanted me to do their program. And I was like, mm, I'm not going to do that. So they started calling me Renegade. <laughs> Got it. And um, it was kind of meant as a slur, so sure. I figured I would brand it. <laughs> so, so, so you were in that. How many years did you did you were you the Renegade in that industry until uh, you finally said, "That's it, I'm doing my own deal." Three years. Three, three years. years. Three to three and a half years. At that time, how much had, how much did business had you brought to the company? Oh my word, probably half a million a year. Half a million a it year. Me and my team. Well, wow, is that I don't know what the average it's, is, but that's pretty solid for insurance. We had a good team, and that's. Yeah, we were, we were doing good business, and okay. we were doing clean business. Our business was thinking. So we, we had started something that was helping people, and I wanted to get the message out, you know. They, finally, they put me on stage finally and, and let me and And really talk about what you had. You and had to fight for it, though, right? Yeah, they didn't like it. <laughs> they thought I was going to talk about one thing. <laughs> but you talked about more. <laughs> and I let it loose, and everybody, like, really liked it, you know. Like, yeah. 85% of the people in the room signed up for my blog that day. Wow. And um, I said, this will work, you know. That's great. And um, So so you were, in the insur- you were in that business for four years. Did about five hundred thousand a year, half a million. When did you? What, what, what was the turn? Where did you go? Okay, I'm out. Now I have to develop something on my own. What happened? Well, a guy, a friend of mine named Chris Morrell. He's a um, twenty year Marine vet. Awesome guy, man. Most, but these Marines, I mean, you know how it's good salespeople are. We're going forward all the time. We're disorganized. We're a mess. We are a mess. We were getting charged. We got this crap coming at us, but we're going forward. Right. You know, we figure if we got a, we lost two grand here, then we'll make eight grand to make up for the two. We're never looking backwards. This guy's so hyper organized. And when he set up, he was um, he worked with Halliburton for mm-hmm. um, a few years till they let everybody off. He was a project manager for them. Twenty year Marine vet. This guy two tours of Afghanistan, four Iraq. Just the, if you look at Marine, picture Chris. Yeah, <laughs> it's got it in the dictionary. And this is your partner. This is my partner. One of okay. my two partners. Yeah. So how did you guys meet? You met my after- brother. We yeah. took care of his home security for him. Oh, okay, great, awesome. And he was um, just got laid off from Halliburton. Got it. Down in Texas, and he said, hey. So he, he, he comes, comes to me, he likes what we're talking about doing. He likes the idea of helping people. Yeah. He liked what I was saying. Yeah. So he got a license and everything. This guy he has a license like a week. Yeah. Most people take three months. <laughs> yeah. It's, so he's a super smart guy. And then he comes back and um, I was, he sends me some pictures. He's got a desk in his in his truck, like a desk, like a truck. It's made for the truck, hanging files and the whole thing. And I um, was like, oh, that's cool. Well, I went to Houston to speak at, a, I mean, Austin to speak at a conference. I went and hung out with him for a couple of days. He showed me a worksheet he had made himself so when he got done working he put all the information back on the computer track all his money i was like man that's awesome you know we could maybe build an app out of that if we just knew somebody could write code or something he's like i might have a guy well about three weeks later he came to kentucky we're sitting in my garage and just like a lot of your cool ideas out there in disney and you got google i mean the list goes you guys on. built an app we, the plan came together sitting in my garage one day, yeah. And gave birth to the MIMO Pro application. Yes, sir. So let's dive into that. So we've got this really renegade, entrepreneurial, dude, I'm going to do what I need to do to get what I want so that I can have my freedom, build my own dreams, go after my own goals. You meet up with your guy, Chris. You get a code guy. And now we're looking at a new app that is about to be released into the insurance industry, which will probably spread like a wildfire. But let's talk about... My Mo Pro. So tell me five things that you've got right now that make this particular app interesting, something that's gonna help an insurance agent, something that's gonna help them write more business and underwrite more deals. Well, the thing about insurance agents is the key to their business is their, their leads. And they spend a fortune on leads. These guys spend 20 to $45 on Yeah, I've leads. noticed that in that industry, you have to purchase your leads, mm-hmm. which I find very interesting. Yeah. I know that if I was in that industry, I would freaking bang social media. That that would be my game. My yeah. game would be social What's a, The demographic is a little tougher. We're, that's that's something I've been working on is figuring out how to touch that demographic. That sure. Because that group. It's a little bit higher, I guess. It hits their yeah. kids, yeah. The, True. The, yeah. the Generation X and the early baby. The so late so you're talking years. about leads. It costs them a fort- an agent mm-hmm. a fortune to get leads. Yeah. Okay. And um, so the key was 
we need to find a way to organize these guys. Because right. if I could get organized, so what they did is I'm, I'm kind of like this subject. And as a matter of fact, the code writer, I played dumb hillbilly with this guy for like six months. Sure. Because I wanted him to understand who he's building it for. You know, I'm not saying they're all dumb hillbilly. I just mean that he's, he's so smart. I didn't want him to think this has to be simple or I wouldn't use it because I'll spend a fortune on stuff to see if I like it. And I'm probably paying for stuff still, then, you know, because you don't ever cancel anything. Yeah. But I pay about 450 bucks a month for all these different services it's to track leads to um, to um, CRM tools, uh, quoting tools, and toll-free numbers and fax tools. And I want to be efficient, but all, none of these things really fit the business. And I'm going and paying all this money. I wanted to have something that was all right there, easy to use. Because how many times you buy an app? Oh, you're fired up. You open it up. It's like, okay, I'll try to make it work. And you can't get it to work yeah. for you. And, and, and trying to show, you need to finally would give up on it. Mm -hmm. Most of us will spend hours on it, mm -hmm. and then we give up. I wanted something that I would use. Right. I wanted to open it up and be like, ooh. And that's what we wanted to build. We wanted to build something that when you open it up, it's simple. You set up your profile. If you get a lead in, mm -hmm. take a picture of it, pulls it in, pulls the date off, loads in the system. That's something I would use, right? Yeah. So that's what we did. So we've got a system that has integrated lead capture and import cap capability, um, a life and health agent-based CRM system with including field underwriting data. I want to make sure I read this because I don't want to. Um, yeah, no, say I know. Because right. very, very Chris's can say a lot smoother than I can, but I yeah. mean, I know what it is. Integrated does. routing portal, individual mm -hmm. and team performance planning dashboards, commission and tax forecast. Forecasting. Sorry, my mouth and my brain did not line up there. <laughs> so these five things, like let, let's go into number two life and health agent based CRM, including field underwriting data. How is that going to help an insurance agent? Uh, well, we don't track our money. We get chargebacks. We don't chase our chargebacks because we're too busy trying to figure out where our leads are under the seat and over the dashboard and stuff like that. Matter of fact, I did a video out back with people sending me pictures. Yeah. It was a mess. So what we're doing is we're making it easy for them. They don't have to type the information in. And once they capture that lead, mm -hmm. it pulls the name and stuff off the address. Off the paper. It throws it right in there. Done. Right Done. in. Automatic Done. reads the paper. It's in. You got it. You're good to go. Exactly. So that's what that is. Because okay. I'm a two-finger typer. So. Integrated routing portal. What's that? Um, so once the lead comes into the system, it actually keeps the original lead picture in there because when you go out and knock on their door, you like to show them the lead they send in with the signature on it. Right. So now they take their tablet and boom, show them a picture of the lead uh -huh. with the signature on it. Is this your signature? Yes. When you send that in, I'm required to come out and sit with you for a few minutes. And um, it makes it easier instead of having leads everywhere and no, just no scratch and stuff like that. So, it's so what you've done is you've built something, you've built a mobile CRM. Mm -hmm. That's affordable for an agent to keep track of their business is what Completely, you've done. Completely, yeah. Okay. Complete mobile office. That's what my mo means. My mobile office. Yeah. For professionals, my for life and insurance agents. I love yeah. that. I love that. So how does a, like how does somebody use it? How would somebody go into my mo pro? How do they use it? Well, when they get the system, they open it up. They just go in and set up their agent profile. Once they do that, they start taking pictures of the leads, pull the date off. It starts to build their system, their file out there. When they get up in the morning, basically, and you know as well as I do, good salespeople were like usually driven by something the circles like on my watch for instance i'm always wanting to close my circles make sure i take enough steps enough breaths whatever it is for me to close my circles yeah but they open this thing up and they've got they can set up their their um their goals it breaks it down into weekly monthly and annual annual goals so the goal is to close the circle every week because sales is about what contact we don't have them chase money we don't have contacts presentations and apps written if they focus on that then the money's always there if you focus on doing the work the money usually ends up being a bigger pile than if you focus on the money so we want them to close the circles every week. So that in, in order to do that, they want to knock, say, 20 doors at 100 doors a week. Yeah. They want to do um, 15. So you're building your contact list efficiently. Mm -hmm. So you're, okay, got it. What's the best thing about the app that people can use with it? Oh, I can't, I wouldn't, I mean, there's so many amazing things about it. It's hard to pick one great thing out. It's just imagine that it, having an industry where there's nothing there, they treat the industry like they do a lot of the clients they target. Right. And then we had nothing that was made for us. Mm -hmm. And um, I searched for hours and what this is going to do, it's going to simplify their job. It's going to make it where they get up in the morning, they open it up, they'll see their list of people that had appointments. If they had set an appointment three months ago, normally we would miss that one. Now it's waiting on them in their calendar. When they go into the house, it's got, it walks them through the process of doing the presentation. And when they pull up the leads, the list that they hit the button, it sends them straight into ways and routes them to the job. That's awesome. That's very cool. I mean, the screenshot alone will walk, once the, the app, once the- You have an lead, integrated presentation built into the app mm -hmm. for each, so there's never any question about anything for each product. Nothing. That's amazing. So how does it help the insurance industry? Like, well, so, so you've got this, these cool features, you've got these things going on. What is it about the app that's gonna benefit the industry? Why do agents from, it, it, I assume it works with anybody. Mm -hmm. How does it help the industry itself? Well, it's going, what it's gonna do, it's gonna 
make our persistency stronger, number one. Because a lot of times I'm out in the field, I call it brain plaques. A client will call me, oh, I need to have this or that. I'll call you tonight or I'll call you in the morning. Well, guess what? I forget the call. Two days later, I get another call from them. I forget again. Third time I, third time I hear about them, it's a chargeback. So if we can lower, raise their persistency rate up and keep them from having so many chargebacks, that helps the agent, number one, keeps his attitude better. Plus, all these things are building his head. What did I forget to do things? Because he just hit a button on his phone. Oh, this is what your issue is. And fixes it and walk, and he's done. Instead of waiting until he gets home and forgetting about it. Got it. So, so how does it save the agent money? I see we've got a few points here. But what I really want you to do is, is, is somebody that's in that industry, somebody that's in that field that's building, that's starting, how does it help them? I know that insurance agents, they mostly pay for their leads, but in other, I'm sure there are other ways that it saves them money. So how does it work? Well, just time alone, because the average agent will spend three hours a day just when we get up, we've got leads everywhere in our car trying to get organized so we can go to work and figure out where we're gonna go. Number one, number two, when we get home at night, we spend a couple hours a night yeah. just going through our paperwork, faxing it in. With, with the way we've set this system up from A to Z, when they walk in the door, when they wake up in the morning, they get in the car and they leave. So there's an hour saved. When they get walk out of the house, everything's sent into the company. Because time is money. Time is money. Imagine time saving money. 900 hours a year. Wow, incredible. What would you do with it? I mean, I would make more calls <laughs> and I'd close more deals. Exactly. Absolutely would do that. Exactly. So how do people, where do people find it? When is it released? What are we looking at here? Uh, we'll, we should be launching, we're starting beta this week and um, hopefully within two weeks we'll be launching full force for everybody. We're gonna have some special rates in the beginning for launch, of course. This app, obviously amazing, obviously gonna help insurance agents, gonna streamline the process, gonna get them moving, gonna get them closing more deals and making more money. Where can an insurance agent go to access and get this app for them? It's really easy, mymopro.com. Mymopro.com. My, what's the registration process like? Very simple, just fill out your data just and you're fill good out to go. your data and Works on any phone, any phone, tablet? Phone, tablet, desktop, it works across all the platforms. I mean, we, we wanted to make it simple. It's so, look, it's so dumb I could use it. I'm, I'm kind of that dummy when it comes to being organized. <laughs> but you're doing very well. It seems like you've built something that's gonna help the insurance agents, gonna help people grow and expand their business. Um, where can people follow you? Um, they can follow me on Facebook under um, Rob Martin, or they can follow, um, we've got a page called Sell Team 6, it's all life insurance agents. We started that and it's really turned into an awesome thing because we don't allow recruiting. Insurance is the most heavily recruited industry in the world. We don't allow recruiting or selling or care company or carrier mentions because everybody's company's better and their chest bumping and talking smack. So we don't allow those things. And we've got about- So okay. you have a whole support community. A whole support community. For That's amazing. Yeah, Na fun. Nationwide, I assume. Mm -hmm. We yeah. got people in Canada and, and in Europe and their group too. It's pretty neat. Renegade, Rob Martin, thank you so much for coming. You, I totally appreciate, appreciate being here. it. You shared with us some amazing pieces of information about this app, how it's gonna save insurance agents time, how it's gonna help them increase their sales volume, increase their lead volume, and make a huge dent into the insurance uh, industry. This app is available at mymopro.com. That's mymopro.com, mymopro.com. Check it out. If you're an insurance agent in the insurance industry, it works on any phone, any smartphone, tablet, or desktop anywhere. This guy, the Renegade, is revolutionizing how agents are underwriting and closing more deals in the insurance industry. Grant and I, every single week, bring someone that is a leader in their industry, the strategist, the guy that's got the technology, the gal that knows exactly how to close more deals so that you can learn from them or find amazing pieces of technology like my Mo Pro app, which is available at my Pro, oh my God. <laughs> it's so hey. freaking crazy. Which is available at mymopro.com. Grant and I bring an expert every single week to you. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next week on another episode of Ask the Pro. Thank you.